A couple of weeks ago, I went on a family trip with Stefan to Salisbury, Massachusetts, where his grandmother grew up. We're here, but not in Boston. I thought we were going to Boston, but we're actually in Salisbury, like an hour and a half away from Boston. But we're at a beachfront cottage. And oh my god, look, this is the front door. And then this is the backyard. It's a beautiful beach town and as soon as we could we stopped by the lobster pound to pre-order lobsters for dinner which is very famous in Massachusetts. We did some shopping since we were right at the New Hampshire border where there's no tax. I didn't get anything for myself but there were some good sales and then on the way back we grabbed some lunch and I had clam cakes with Costco fries which was amazing. Well. Those are going to stay warm for a while. Look at the size of that! <laughs> I got to take off the stuff. No, no, you got to yeah, grab a plate. <laughs> Late night Dunkin' Donuts fix. Dunkin' Donuts. Going on a boat cruise today. Not like we wouldn't do it. And let us show you the boat that we have to ourselves for 12 people. We went on a two hour boat cruise, and even though it was windy, it was smooth sailings, aka no one barfed. Stefan got me my first named Coke can and it was cheese balls but cute but don't tell him that I said that. Then it was just time to stroll along the beach, something that we tried to do as much as possible. That's what I meant. Snacks. 30 Rock. Getting to wake up to this view was ridiculous. And so is this candy corn dyed dog named Marilyn. Oh my gosh, and your nails are green. <laughs> We drove about half hour away to Salem, famously known as the Witch Hanging Town. It was a perfect time to go because they were busting out all the Halloween themes and there was a psychic fair. They sold a lot of these knickknacks and stones that all had different meanings to them that this lady explained to me. Some are, uh, you know, energy of, of negative energy absorbers, negative energy reflectors, uh, different stones related to you know, psychic development, uh, creativity, all sorts, uh, and communication. It's about 60 different stones, so they all have a different meaning. You can keep in your pocket, you can put, uh, not in an altar, but you know, maybe on a nightstand where you might have some other stones. Mm -hmm. uh, there, that's why I have a lot of jewelry that has the different stones in it. So, oh, so you, you can keep wear it on it. you? Okay. Yeah, you can keep it on you, exactly. Oh, so that's yes. 
For fun, we did readings where the psychic took a piece of my possession and looked into my past life, and Stefan asked to contact the dead. They also had crystal ball readings and bone scatterings. Then we went to the Witch History Museum and learned through these way too creepy mannequins of the history of witch hangings. It's a really beautiful town and it's a great place to walk by where all the stores were selling these quirky, eerie novelty items that you can pick up. But for dinner, we had a final seafood dinner and let me tell you, these people can deep fry. The seafood was perfectly cooked and it was so delicious. If you want to see more of my adventures by the sea, stop by my Instagram and other social pages. Did you enjoy my travel videos? Because here's a playlist of my other travels that include guides of where to go and where to eat. If you've been here a while, you may know that I upload every Sunday. So subscribe and stay tuned for new videos every Sunday. Thanks for watching guys!